be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here, the beat way too smooth. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do what we can do, just by. Hey people, something a little bit different for you today. Um, I've just put together a quick video showing some of the photos and some of the videos from the Gfinity event that I went to on Sunday. If you don't know anything about it, it's the first time they've organised this event. It's a eSports tournament for COD and League of Legends. Um, I think they had $55,000 prize money. Um, and it was it's the first time I put it together and it was absolutely brilliant. I had loads of fun. Big thanks to Liam from Activision for extending an invite to me and I learned so much about esports. I wanted to go because I'm a massive massive COD fangirl. I love COD but I've never really understood esports. I've never been kind of, I've been on the fence. I've not been, oh I love esports. I love competitive COD and I've never been, oh my god I hate it. Um, I've just never kind of really experienced it. I've I watched one stream once and I loved it, um, and that was it. So I wanted to go along, kind of find out about it, really get into the experience, and it was just amazing. Those teams, they are so dedicated, so disciplined, so motivated. It's so exciting to actually watch them play. You can just you can see how much it means to them. Every single point is fantastic. And the speed, their reactions, it was just, oh man, it was immense. Uh, it was so good to see TCM um, nearly, nearly win uh, the first Gfinity. That would have been absolutely awesome. Uh, but I think, yeah, Complexity totally deserved to win. They were, they were fantastic. It was really interesting seeing Complexity's tactics of um, trying to psych out the competition, really, really shouting at them. Um, every time they make, every time the opposition make a mistake, they remind them they made a mistake. They tell them they're awful. They tell them they can't even hang. Uh, <laughs> some fantastic banter going on, and it was really interesting thinking about it because you think well you can see how that's going to work if you make a mistake and someone is reminding you you made a mistake that is going to bring you down that is going to demotivate you it's going to distract you you've got to get your head back in the game but on the other hand if i was doing that if i was constantly yelling at the other team i don't know if i'd be able to be focused on my own game so it's kind of a tricky balancing act and it was it was exciting to kind of see it in action and it was really great afterwards as well to see them all stand up and shake hands with each other, go outside, get a breath of fresh air and, and chat to each other afterwards as friends. You know, it's all part of the game. It was it was really cool to see. So, yeah, Gfinity, absolutely awesome. Um, and people who say esports shouldn't be called esports. Um, I was on the fence with this one because while I understand it's not a running around and sweaty thing, um, so many sports aren't archery, darts, snooker, these are all called sports aren't they? They're not running around sweaty things. Sports for me is about um, playing a game, it's about working as a team a lot of the time, it's about discipline, strategy, tactics and it's about winning a game, that's what sports is about. And they're not calling it sports, they're calling it esports, they're saying it's like the gaming version of a sport. So I think that's I think that's entirely appropriate. I have no problem with the the use of the word or the phrase esports anymore. I think it's entirely apt having seen these these players in action. They're absolutely brilliant. So will I be getting it all MLG now and uh, and yeah entering into tournaments? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a scuff controller and I forget to use the paddles. So yeah, that's my level of MLG proness. <laughs> but will I be watching more esports? Definitely. Um it was really, really interesting and I'm following loads more people who are kind of actual pro gamers who are involved in making these events, who are codcasters. I'm following much more of them on Twitter now because yeah, it's like a whole new world and it was really exciting. Really, really exciting and I loved it. Big thanks to Maccabee for putting up with my um, inability to network while I was there because partly because I'm really really shy if um, I'm a bit of an introvert sometimes so he was very kind and kind of looked after me when I was being a bit of a knob um, 
he was brilliant company so thanks to him Maccabix it was also brilliant to see um, a lot of the COD community people that I've met from other COD events there as well because um, Activision UK are brilliant they organise lots of little COD community events or big COD community events which you can go along to and it kind of brings us all together and um, it's 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 brilliant they do a really good job so it was good to see uh, meet Dave the Rave because I hadn't met him before we've just you know we've talked we've never actually met so that was cool Twin Sane Liam I hadn't met him before and um, we've only ever talked over Xbox so that was cool uh, most of the others I think I'd already met before uh, went down you know to Tesco Metro with Ali A uh, <laughs> no there was a big group of us um, but on the way there someone randomly recognised him and stopped to chat and I was like really no one's recognising me don't know who I am I'm super poop jeez I have like one and a half thousand subs I'm you know just two million behind you wow awkward <laughs> but it was quite strange yeah this COD community is massively widespread I've said this before you have when people talk about the COD community they forget of the huge wide range of people it actually consists of you've got the mega youtubers you've got the people like us who play at home for fun and hang out on cod with our friends and seeing it and see it as kind of like a social tool you've got the the professionals the pro gamers who are serious and dedicated um, it's a huge diverse range of people so once again I will say this when you talk about the COG community is made up of a massive massive range of different people so do try not to generalize the one thing I would like to say is I would like to see more women at COD community events because there's loads of us who play um, so I would, I'd love to see more women there and it'll be interesting to see how uh, ghosts COD ghosts supports competitive gaming that's going to be cool to see. Hopefully there'll be a little bit more balance because I think Black Ops 2 supported competitive gaming to the detriment of the clans. I think clan ops were pointless. No double XP, no titles, no exciting unlocks for doing clan ops. They were absolutely pointless. I'm hoping Infinity Ward, who are generally much better with Mom Warfare 3, they were brilliant at supporting clans. They gave us loads of rewards for clan ops. They're really good at keeping a game fresh and interesting, introducing new game modes for, you know, us normal, casual players. I'm hoping that they still, you know, bring that in with Ghosts. But at the same time, I'm hoping they keep esports supported because I found it a really kind of interesting and exciting new world for me. <laughs> Let me have your thoughts about esports, anything I've covered in this rambly commentary in the comments below and um, I'll see you around chaps. Bye!